This video is brought to you by System76 and Samsung. Now through September 10th, you can save up to $310 on an Adder WS for System76's back to school sale. No promo code required, just head to the link in the description for a truly classy computer. Hey everybody, it's your friend and your guy and your favorite gardener who's really bad at unboxing flowers. Gardener, the Linux gamer. This video would not be possible if it weren't for my 136 amazing patrons over on Patreon. My top tier Singularity members get special recognition at the beginning of my videos, and so I wanted to give a special shout out to Webfreak. Webfreak, my dude, thank you so much for your support. It is truly humbling. All right, it's time for my review of the System76 Adder Workstation laptop. This machine is a freaking beast. It's not just a gaming rig. It's not just a productivity thing. This is also capable of doing, uh, keeping up with my 4K video workflow. This is an amazing machine. And if you want to actually win this exact laptop, the one that I'm reviewing right now, stick around to the end of the video, watch the whole way through, and you'll find codes uh, that I've hidden here and there that are going to uh, give you an entry or an extra entry in the giveaway. At the end, there'll be details about the giveaway. If you haven't already signed up for that, you might want to do so. So on to the review. Uh, it occurred to me after I did the unboxing video and got it out there on the on the on the internet that uh, in fact I had forgotten to actually list the specs of this device and so people were just kind of signing up to win this machine without actually knowing what this machine actually is capable of. That's where this video comes in. I have been putting this thing through its paces. I've played a bunch of games on it, a bunch of AAA games, both native and Proton, and I have to say, I can't believe how powerful this machine is. This thing, like, competes with my desktop. For a CPU, it has the Intel Core i7 9750H. Up with a base speed of 2.6 gigahertz up to 4.5 gigahertz. This machine is configured with 32 gigabytes of RAM, DDR4 at 3000 megahertz. It has an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2070. The Adder workstation comes stock with a 4K UHD display, a resolution of 3840 by 2160. And this particular machine is configured with a one terabyte Samsung 970 Evo Plus drive. Those are the specs and if you enter the giveaway, that's the machine that you're going to receive. So I wanted to quickly go over some of the pros and a few of the cons because no machine is perfect. The first pro is that it starts insanely fast. Uh, it's one of the fastest startups that I've ever seen on a machine. And I have a couple other laptops and nothing starts anywhere near as fast as this one does. And it's probably thanks to the Evo drive from Samsung. <laughs> So this keyboard took a little getting used to, as most laptop keyboards do. They're, they kind of fiddle with the layout a little bit just to make sure that everything fits on the board. But I did end up getting used to it. Uh, it's a lot better than trying to adapt to like a MacBook keyboard, which is just garbage in my opinion. And the Adder workstation gets bonus points for having a built-in numpad. Uh, it's hard for me to use a laptop that does not have a numpad. Numpads are crucial. Uh, for me and my typing, especially when I'm doing a lot of numbers. I like how the keyboard is laid out. I especially like how, uh, you know, which keys are assigned uh, alternate functions with the uh, with the function key held down. For example, you can adjust the backlight for the keyboard, which is an awesome feature uh, by using the, the, plus, uh, the numpads plus and minus. You can also change the colors with numpad slash uh, and you can turn it on or off with the uh, with the asterisk on the numpad. Personally, I'm a big fan of white. I, I don't care for RGB much at all. You know, RGB feels tacky to me. White is just right for me. <laughs> um, the trackpad feels responsive. Uh, I really like it. It does feel a little bit sluggish when you're in 4K mode. Uh, just because you have so many pixels to move across. So I actually bumped up the sensitivity for the trackpad, you know, for the 4K resolution because it just felt a little slow for my, for my taste. But, you know, th that's customization, you know what I'm saying? Now, I am a huge fan of having dedicated buttons for your uh, trackpad. Um, I do not like the integrated button, the all-in-one button for a trackpad. It is clumsy, it's inaccurate, I don't like it. I also don't like tap to click. I, I think that that's dumb, I disabled that as soon as I turned the machine on. Um, 
everything else besides having dedicated buttons is just imprecise and i don't care for it at all uh so i i give this machine huge props for having dedicated buttons uh the the buttons do however feel a little bit membrane-y they kind of feel like the uh the the actual like chiclet keyboard feels um they're a little softer than that but you know with, with a with a with a mouse i kind of expect it to be a little more you know clicky uh i haven't used dedicated buttons on a laptop in a long time for for clicking um because I, I don't think a single computer uh except for my lemur i think my lemur does actually have um dedicated buttons but those feel a little more clicky too this I, I, I like it, but it took a little getting used to. I like having the more tactile feedback when I, when I click. Uh, maybe I'm weird. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're moving on to the screen now. This screen is positively gorgeous. Uh, I have, uh, this is the first 4K display that I've ever used uh, to do video editing on, and it is superb. Uh, it's it's beautiful. It's uh, it's crisp. It's fine. It looks like everything just looks right, especially with the footage from my camera. The colors are vivid, and the contrast is absolutely spectacular. Uh, I also didn't notice any uh, issues at all with the screen when playing games. It's an OLED panel. It is, uh, you know, full 4K UHD. It is so so nice. Editing 4K video on this machine yielded respectable performance in Kaden Live. Um, I, you know, I usually edit on Dargo, my editing and gaming PC. And you know, Dargo is an AMD Ryzen 7 based machine. It has a Vega 64 card, 64 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, it's a very nice machine. And the Adder workstation kind of gives it a run for its money, honestly. Uh, I spent a couple thousand dollars on this machine and the and, and the outer workstation, a freaking laptop is giving my desktop a run for its money. It's not quite at the same performance level as my desktop. Um, editing like full 4K video, no proxy clips or anything like that. Uh, does result, especially in, in clip transforms and uh, affine transformations, this thing is going to uh, struggle a, a lot more than my desktop does, but simply being able to edit 4K footage without having to convert it to proxy clips uh, is, is so fantastic. And being able, like if I had this machine as my personal machine and I could take it with me on the road somewhere, this would be one of the machines that like would save my life. I'd be able to edit on this machine on the road and uh, honestly, that is a huge selling point for me. I also have uh, a couple other random laptops. None of them would be able to do 4K video editing. This thing is impressive. I even streamed editing uh, my last video on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash Zondak if you wanna check it out. I was, I was not only streaming on Twitch, my video editing, I was also capturing, I was using OBS to capture the 4K display, which, I thought was not going to be possible, but this thing pulled it off. It ran uh, beautifully uh, under, and it only took like a 4K display, you would think it would take up like 30 or 40% of your CPU in order to actually capture it in OBS. No, it, it took that, it downsampled it, it, it sent it off to Twitch and it was a good, good experience. I, I am very pleased with, with this machine so far. And before we get on to the gaming portion, I just wanted to say thank you to System76 and Samsung for sponsoring this giveaway. System76 is the leading provider of Linux laptops, desktops, and servers globally, as well as the creator of Pop! OS. They're powered by a close-knit team of talented creators who are passionate about Linux and everything tech. System76's newest edition, the Adder WS, is a workstation laptop that features a dazzling 4K OLED display. This computer and others from System76 are supercharged when equipped with Samsung's 970 EVO Plus storage drives, which boast fast read and write speeds to create a fluid experience for users. Whether you're looking for a new workstation or a dedicated gaming setup, configure your own Linux machine at system76.com. If you use the link in the description, you'll actually be able to uh, save a bunch of money on, uh, on a System76 machine, and it helps the show out as well. All right, let's talk about gaming. Uh, I honestly did not know where we were going to land on the gaming front with this machine because, to be completely honest, 
I've never seen a laptop that can deliver, you know, desktop grade visuals. And uh, this thing has a 4K display. So I was like, what's going to happen when we try to play games in 4K on this laptop? Guys, let's start with the worst performance and work our way up because it really starts out strong and just keeps getting better. The first game that we're going to talk about is Rise of the Tomb Raider. So the game played at a perfectly playable frame rate in 4K. It was averaging somewhere between 45 and 60 frames a second. In 1080p, we were quickly surpassing 115 frames a second. Um, when I was streaming the game, I actually found that I was uh, the, that OBS was having a hard time keeping up with encoding uh, the the footage, and it induced like this weird kind of stutter and lag. Um, didn't happen with any of the other games that I tried, uh, but just with this one. Very strange. I don't know if that's this laptop or if, if it's uh, this game being just a weirdo. <laughs> Uh, but then I tried Cities Skylines, full Ultra HD, and I have to tell you, medium to high settings, this game ran really well, like super impressive. My desktop can hardly play uh, at 1080p on high settings. It chugs at, at, <laughs> at 1080p on this machine on the outer workstation, I was playing at around 45 to 50 frames a second. And keep in mind that a game like this frame rate really isn't that important. You know, you have ample time to, to just kind of sit back, relax and play a fun game. It was absolutely terrific. And I, you know, I, I can't say enough. I can't heap enough praise on this machine. Then I played Wolfenstein Young Blood uh, with my best friend Carl. If you're not following him, head over to twitch.tv slash infinite repair. Uh, he's, he's an awesome dude. Uh, he's just starting out as a Twitch streamer, so let him know that I sent you over there. Uh, he's, he's a cool guy. But him and I actually, uh, you know, co-streamed, or I don't know what you call it. I'm not hip on the lingo. And uh, we actually played uh, you know, uh, Wolfenstein Youngblood. Now keep in mind, this is a Vulcan game running through Proton. And boy, oh boy, I didn't have the, uh, you know, when we were playing, I, the game was running at 60 frames a second. It had a frame limiter on. I didn't go in and try to shut that off. But at 1080p, it was perfect. It was absolutely stellar. And, and then we actually, I cranked the graphics up to 4K and left the, all the graphical settings on high or ultra, and it was playing at 60 frames a second. It was rock solid. Uh, so then I'm like, well, all right, let's try Doom. <laughs> because of course I'm gonna play Doom, right? Doom, fun fact, runs at around 115 frames a second in 4K, between 80 and 115, but that's so impressive to me. I mean, my lap, my desktop can do about the same, but my desktop's playing at 1080p. I don't have 4K screens. This is like bananas to me. Now, Wolfenstein and Doom are both uh, Proton. These are the Windows versions. They are running on Proton, which is Valve's open source fork of Wine, and it's meant for games, and they're Vulcan, and it's like they're taking direct advantage of the, the GPU here. We have, we have one more game to talk about, Rocket League. Rocket League was also impressive, super stable, uh, solid frame rate around 125 frames a second at 4K. That's impressive. I am a huge, huge fan of this machine. I got to tell you guys, I honestly wasn't expecting frame rates at 4K over 100 frames a second on this machine, but I can tell you right now that it can do it. And that's almost unbelievable to me but it's impressive. But there are a few things about this device that uh, I'm not quite keen on, and I just gotta be honest with you guys. Now, the first thing that I wanna talk about is that this machine has the Intel graphics as well as the uh, the RTX card, um, and that's awesome. And you can switch the RTX card off if you wanna extend your battery life. The only, the only issue with that is that you have to restart in order to have that take effect. Not a huge deal, but I just wanted to mention that. Uh, the speakers on this thing are serviceable at best. Uh, they are, they get quite loud. I had my portable air conditioner on and I had my other fan blowing on me the other day and I had this machine sitting on my lap and honestly, I could still hear everything quite clearly. So it gets adequately loud. 
the only problem is uh, it has virtually no base response, which I kind of have come to expect from a lot of laptops, and the high trebles are quite piercing. The audio is, is serviceable. The headphone jack and the microphone are both on the side here. It has a two-in-one uh, microphone uh, or SPDIF audio, optical audio out. The reason I figured that out is because it's shining a light out the side and I was like, is that the LEDs like from the keyboard shining out through the grate? No, that's, it has an actual optical audio output on the side. Pretty impressive. The webcam is potato quality. Uh, that's kind of what I've come to expect from webcams on laptops anyway. So, I mean, eh. The, the thing is I had all six studio lights on and this thing was simultaneously blown out and it was also grainy as if the ISO was cranked up to the max. I don't know how that's possible, but <laughs> I guess, you know, it was. Uh, but, you know, that's it's come, That's what I've come to expect. And, and really, I'm not video chatting on computers. And if I am, I'm going to, like, pipe my DSLR into my computer and use that. Um, that's just how I roll. The machine does not seem to fully enter uh, sleep states. Right now, I just opened it up and it's still on, uh, even though I had the, the lid closed. Um, actually, let me just restart because I did actually apply an update. We'll come back to that. Now, I want to stress that this isn't a problem with the display, but at 4K resolutions, some things just don't scale correctly. And that's, again, not a problem with this screen. It's a problem with uh, the software supporting it. Um, for example, in City Skylines, when I went to use a, a traffic manager mod, I ended up not being able to really see what I was doing because the, the UI didn't scale properly. It was this tiny little thing on the screen and it was really hard to see. But again, that's not a problem with this machine. Uh, some people were knocking on the, the design of the machine, but I think that it's honestly pretty sleek it looks good and when you're typing on this thing there's a little bit of flex uh on the uh, the shroud underneath the keycaps and sometimes you know if you push like the h key you can see g and j and y and n kind of move around like just a little bit there's a subtle bit of play going on in there um which just i figured i would mention all right and and the last con that i have and it's not even really a con but the font I'm not a huge fan of the font that's on this keyboard. Uh, what is this? The Republic of Gamers? <laughs> no. Look, I like a nice, tasteful uh, typeface, uh, like Helvetica or, or something like that. Um, this the, the keyboard here looks a little bit sci-fi to me. And while I like sci-fi, that's not the aesthetic I'm going for in my daily life. But I don't know. That's, I'm harping on that too much. I, if you can't tell, aesthetics are very important to me. I've been recording for almost 50 minutes. <laughs> I guess I had a lot to say about this machine, uh, but to sum it up, I love this machine and I wish that I was keeping it, but I'm not, I'm giving it away. So if you wanna win this laptop, the Adder Workstation from System76 that can kick ass at games, 4K video editing and productivity out the butt, go over to giveaway.heavyelement.io and use the link in the description to uh, to sign up with this, uh, to win this machine. For every code that you find and every code that you redeem, you get an extra entry in the giveaway. And that means that if you get six codes, you get six entries in the giveaway. And let me tell you, I've hidden a lot of codes. I've hidden over a hundred different codes throughout my videos, throughout my social media, my websites, my many, many websites, my podcast. And the cool thing is that right now, the average number of codes redeemed per player is only about 1.2. That's 1.2 codes per person. That's like not much. So if you go through and you find like 50 of the 100 codes that I've hidden throughout all my websites and, and videos and social media, then guess what? That's 50 entries in this giveaway. So I think that's pretty awesome. And if you want to play along, even if you don't want to win the laptop, you just want to have fun, go searching for these codes in this little scavenger hunt that I've created. Uh, go ahead and do that. Giveaway.heavyelement.io. There's a link in the description to get you started.
All right, I want to say thank you to my friends at System76 and Samsung for sponsoring this video. Uh, without them, this wouldn't have happened. Uh, they're really cool people. Everyone at System76 is amazing. I think that's going to do it, though. Thank you for watching. If you believe in the work that I do, you can support this show with a monthly contribution over on Patreon, uh, or you can head over to uh, LibrePay, which is the free and open source alternative to Patreon. Uh, you can also pick up a t-shirt and, uh, and head over there to Teespring, get one of these cool t-shirts that I have on sale. They're really nice. Uh, but yeah, no matter what you do, whether you hit that like button or share this video with your friends, don't forget to subscribe to see more from me, the Linux Gamer. And as always, thanks for watching.